What's up, guys, and welcome back. Today's game was a live stream that I shot last Saturday. I played a game that disturbed me to my core, and you'll see my demeanor change throughout the gameplay. Uh, it hit me hard, and uh, so, you know, brace yourself for this one. And don't mind the hair. I put a hat on about 10 minutes in. Let's go. So today we fart on the chest of many people. <laughs> I do. This is how I warm up, okay? Have you ever heard of Supernatural? Not today. It's super <laughs> I can't now I can't do the intro. <laughs> My hair's blending in with the background. Have you ever heard? <laughs> so, so you want to put Ah You're not here by coincidence. There is a reason you're here. You up for a scare? You so I can't I can't do this. So you're here for some frights. Frights you shall have. What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name and super normal is the game. In today's episode, we're going to hit new game. That's what we're going to do. Let's read this. Before you start... <laughs> ah! Before you... <laughs> Before you start, ensure that the microphone is properly connected to your computer if you want to fully utilize the game's features. Remember that the microphone is not mandatory to complete the game from start to finish. There will be only one autosave throughout the game. After that, everything that happens will be irreversible until you finish the experience. Don't worry. Death in the game doesn't mean you'll have to start everything from the beginning. However, it can have an impact on the ending. I designed it to ensure that your journey is not interrupted and remains completely engaged and immersed for about two hours. Okay. Begin experience. Wyatt, thank you for coming so quickly. I just got back into the city, and when I arrived here... I found blood all over the place. I am terrified for my daughter, Sophia. Her passion was playing the piano, and she's only 14 years old. Please, you have to find out what happened to her and where she is. Mr. Sakamoto, I understand how worried you must be. Rest assured, I'll do everything in my power to find your girl and get to the bottom of this. Can you tell me more about Sophia? situation. Of course, Wyatt. Sophia's mother passed away a few years ago, and since then, she's been staying alone in this apartment most of the time. I have to travel frequently due to my work, and I haven't been able to spend as much time with her as I'd like. She was a really shy girl, and I worry that her interrupted nature might have made her vulnerable to something sinister. I understand. The more information we have about Sophia, the better our chances of locating her. Are there any friends or acquaintances she might have spent time with recently? She didn't have many friends, to be honest. Her life revolved around her piano and the music studies. I'm afraid I've been too focused on my career and haven't been the best father to her. But right now, that doesn't matter. I just want to find her safe and sound. We'll do our best, Mr. Sakamoto. Any small detail could be vital in this investigation. Is there anything else that you can think of that might help us in our search? Yes, there's something else. You can stay here as long as you need, and feel free to use any resources you require for the investigation. Money is no object in finding my daughter and understanding what happened to her. Cooperation is greatly appreciated, Mr. Sam. Start right away and keep you informed of any developments. Please try to remain calm and patient during this process. Thank you, Wyatt. Your dedication means a lot to me. However, I have to leave now, as I need to make some arrangements. Please keep me updated on any progress, no matter how small the detail. Keep you informed every step of the way. Don't worry. 
I won't rest until we find your daughter. Do you remember anything else, or to reach me for any reason, don't hesitate to contact me. I won't, Wyatt. I trust you in your skills and abilities. Find my daughter, and I'll pay whatever it takes. Please, bring her back to me safe and sound. I promise you, Mr. Sakamoto. I'll do my best. Take care, and we'll be in touch soon. There was so much wrong with that intro, man. The damn storm is so loud you can barely hear the dialogue. There was no text or anything halfway through it. So even if you couldn't hear, you couldn't read. Like, what the hell, man? We're off to a fantastic start. You can turn the lights on and off using the light switch. Thank you. Oh, Sir Glitcherton. Oh, God. This is one of those hyper-realistic games. Okay. Oh, my God. It moves so... It's too damn fast. Look at this. Well, we've got moths in the house. That's great. So, we're. I guess we're trying to look for, from what I can halfway understand from the intro, his daughter's missing? Not now. <laughs> Not now. We ran out of lotion. Okay, let's cut on all these lights. I can't see shit. And, and the ambience is so damn loud, I can't hear myself think. It looks crazy. Oh, there's a light switch. Um, Hold on. Okay, that's not the right light switch. When I hold shift and talk... Hello? Oh my god, what is that sound? I've yet to find out how to turn that light on. We can't run, that's why I was holding shift. Well, screw that light for now. I don't even think there's a light bulb in it. Is that a... Come on, dude. Who would have that in their house? Let's go upstairs. Golly, bro. This game is nuts. Let's get our gutters fixed. No light switch, huh? Doors open. Right, let's just leave it open then. There we go. That is a cool light. I like that. Golly, the graphics, dude. More and more scary games are using this flashlight effect. What the hell was that? Why did my... Uh-oh. Hello? that okay so we have us a wash pool uh there's blood on it it looks like a very small hand that's i don't like that a bunch of clothes with flies coming off of them none of this can be good move the camera to find a clue to examine it hold down the zoom button keep in mind that there may be more than one clue in a viewpoint Okay, well, there's... A massive blood trail. Mm-hmm. With a handprint on the laundry machine. Yep. Surrounded by foul-smelling clothes. Yep. An, an unexpected sight. A pistol, in this case, raises serious concerns. Yes, it does. Need to be cautious and determine its relevance to the missing person's investigation. I agree. Anything else here? Underwear. Do we have any? Okay, I think that's it. 
So we're this. I don't think this is our house. Okay, well, let's turn around. Flashlight's blinking. I guess we're looking through the house for clues. Uh, can't open certain doors. Huh. Somebody's coat's on the ground here. Hello? Can someone speak to me? Alright, so we found a washer with clothes in it. What? Who can see me? Speak to me. Who goes there? Say something, you coward. If you don't speak up, if you don't speak up, I will sneeze. I don't know the whole point of the microphone thing. And I think we're in Japan. This is another Japanese horror game. But now there's spirits talking to me, and I don't like that. I wonder if the whole game revolves around the dog. Bro, I can't do this. Uh, I won't do it. I, I swore that was in the game. Good for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, never mind. It's light. All right. So we found some clues. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Oh. Blood on the closet board. Hand smudges. Sign of struggle. Or something more sinister. I need to investigate further and find out what happened here. You think? Aha. Uh -huh. Blood on the flush. Hand smudges. This could be a crucial clue. I need to dig deeper. Yes, dig deeper. Toilet paper. Used for wiping ass. I need to delve deeper. Need to wipe cleaner. Shit stick. <laughs> uh, Alright, man. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Why is that not a clue? Would y'all fucking quit farting? Hang on. Bloody handprint on the sink. This is no accident. Someone was hurt here. I must follow the trail and piece together what transpired in this place. Someone's head smashed into the mirror. Cool. Anything else? Think that's it. We're putting the pieces of the puzzle together, baby. Yo, hello? Open the door. Stop making my flashlight blink, you son of a bitch. Maybe I missed something. You guys know me. Sir, miss a lot. That's what they called me back in high school. I practically invented backdoor love. Because I would miss the whole... <laughs> what the hell? 
What the hell? What the? Bloody handprints on the cutting board. A chilling sight. This crime scene holds dark secrets. You think? And I won't stop until I find the truth behind these disturbing marks. Dirty dishes with dried paint stains. It appears someone hastily tried to clean up. Use matches near the sink. Someone was here recently. I need to find out who. And if they hold any information about the missing person's whereabouts. Come on, man. Let me look at the damn cup. Okay, I think that's it, but I'm not sure. I don't see nothing on the cabinets. Another set of dirty dishes with dried blood. A troubling pattern emerges. Troubling. Yes. More matches. Hidden use matches. Deliberately concealed. Somebody was here trying to cover their tracks. Yeah, but... Never mind. Well, let me look at the cup. Cast iron skillet. Someone wanted eggs. Okay, I think that's it from here. Nuts. Let's get to cracking. Pointer for the Luigi board. Right here. No way. This adds a whole new layer of intrigue to the case. Busted nuts. They're busted all over the countertops. There's gotta be something else. The Luigi board on the shelf. This case just took an unexpected turn to the mysterious. I'll need to explore its significance. And potential connections to the missing person. Ooh. Oh, I hate Ouija boards. They suck. Okay. I think that should possibly be it, right? Yeah, okay. Got us some clues, baby. So, what I've put together so far in my mind... Is it someone wanted to play Ouija? They played Ouija. A demon popped out. Gave everybody a high five. Splattered blood everywhere. And then they did the dishes. Because the place was dirty. And then somebody tried to wash their clothes and farted. That's, that would explain the flies. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The fuck is the phone at? Oh, there it is. You let me pick that up there, dude. Oh, well. Oh, well. What? Well, it's Masato Sakamoto again. I'm sorry for not mentioning this earlier, but I just remembered something that might be crucial for the investigation. I have security cameras installed all over my apartment. You can access the camera footage through my laptop. Yes! It has night vision capabilities. All and right. It works best when the lights are off in the specific room where you want to use the camera. Please be careful when reviewing the footage. It's essential not to miss any details. I hope this information helps you in search for Sophia. If you find anything, no matter how insignificant it may seem, please let me know immediately. Will do. I'm counting on you to bring my daughter back to me safe and sound. Thank you for your dedication, Wyatt. Well, thank you. The only autosave has just occurred. There is no going back now.
You have to face what you signed up for. Oh, man. Yeah! All right, well, let's investigate. Crumbling pieces of paper scattered around. Could be torn notes or messages. I need to carefully piece them together. You might reveal something significant. Woo! I could smash this desk right now if I wanted to. I could just fuck. I'm not showing my pits, okay? More crumbled papers. Discarded like they hold no value. But in this investigation, every detail counts. I'll unfold their secrets, no matter how small. <sighs> I can't quit yawning, man. I'm sick of you guys making me yawn. Let's check out this piece of paper. Crumbled pieces of paper. It'd be a desperate attempt to hide information. Mm -hmm. I'll unfold their secrets and see what they're trying to conceal. Okay, cool. I think that's it. Broken mirror. Someone got way too happy. We can't pick up those pieces either. All right, man. I really wish I could figure out how to turn that light on. That would be great. What he tried this one. That's not good. I'm tired of my flashlight constantly blinking. And we use our microphone somehow. I don't know how, but... All right, man. Let's check the security cam footage. Let's see what all the hype is about. Okay. Press and hold the interaction button to move the camera. Okay. So there's definitely some paranormal shit going on. Next. Okay, night vision. Let's see what that looks like. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, it doesn't I mean it doesn't look that good in here, but Okay. Oh no. Oh, come on, man. Bro. Oh. Excuse me. Okay, she's pointing at the light, right? Oh, God. All right. Now it's time to get serious. God, the ambience is so loud. I may. There we go. Just God. Turn it down just a hair. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, stop that. Oh my god. Oh. No. What? Stop it. Hi. Oh no. Oh God, I told you not to play with the Ouija board. Voice recognition has been unlocked and now you can attempt to communicate. <sighs> okay, so let's talk to it. Do you like corn nuts? Hello? Corn nuts are delicious. Do you like them? Go away. Nah, bitch. You go away. Nah, you go away. Go away, dog. You go away. Fuck this. I'm checking the cameras. I'm gonna use the computer.
Okay, so this game is supposed to have unique experiences every time you play it. I'm assuming there's multiple endings. Let's go night vision. Okay, now the lights are out in there. You find email. What? You find email. Why didn't it just say find email? Okay, everything seems to be all right besides that. What the hell was that noise? What the hell am I hearing? What? Hello? Boy, the pan on this camera sucks. All right, must have been hearing stuff. Find the email. Log in and password. We don't know that. That's not it. Damn it. Okay, so we can't check the email until we get the password. Very strange. That was probably the creepiest shit I've seen in a long, long time. That was terrifying. Boy, this game was made really well. Really well. All right, let's check this out. Voice recognition is a constantly evolving system that is being improved and updated regularly. It may not always function perfectly. When you see this icon, it means that the voice recognition is disabled at this time. When you see this icon, it means that the voice recognition is enabled at the moment. When you see this icon, it... Okay, I get the point. To use the voice rec recognition function, hold down the voice recognition button until you finish your voice command or see blah, blah, blah. Here are some of the voice commands and phrases that you can pronounce. Can you help me? Is anyone here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Show yourself. Go away. Do something. What happened? Can you see me? What do you want? Okay. When the answer is no, when the answer is yes, remember that communication might not always be successful. It largely depends on your approach and state of being. Ensure, your, <laughs> ensure you pronounce sentences clearly in English. Okay. When the answer is no, it's a knock. Okay. Gotcha. When the answer is yes. Are you here? Are you friendly? Oh my God, I'm going to crap myself. Are you friendly? Was that a yes? That was a yes. Okay, so she's friendly. Thank God. Are you mean? Are you evil? Do something. Oh my God, this is terrifying. What do you want? Revenge? Oh my God! Oh my God! This is terrifying. Okay. Um... Can you help me? No. Isn't that, doesn't that mean no? Yeah, okay. 
Ah, shit. Is anyone here? Yes, okay, got you. What happened? Something disgusting. Oh god, that TV is terrible. Okay, alright. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate everything about this. Show yourself. Oh! Get the fuck out of here, Ib! That was terrifying. That was fucking terrifying. Did she come out of the fireplace? Like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, we got we got a lot of answers. That's for sure. What the hell was that? Aha! Uh -huh. Got us another spot. This crime scene tells a chilling tale. Yes, it does. Bloody handprints on the wall in front of Sophia's favorite piano. Haunting scene that demands answers. No shit, dude. Aha. Uh -huh. Bloody handprints amidst the piano loving environment. It's Unsettling to think what might have happened to Sophia. I'll leave no stone unturned in my search for answers. You know, it's weird. Sophia could help me, but no. Bloody handprints in a home where Sophia loved playing piano. Yeah. Send shivers down my spine. You're putting all this together, huh? She was in danger within these walls. I must find out. I guarantee it was the guy. All right. Where are you? Okay. All right. Son of a bitch. What the fuck was that? Something broke. It sounded like it was behind me. Three knocks means no. What broke? Something broke. Okay, I hear something. Might be upstairs. Oh my god. What is that sound? Oh my. Oh, God. All righty, then. Uh, let's investigate. Bloody footprints. Are you okay? Don't do it. Ah. <laughs> okay, so the blood or the footprint The footprints went away. All right, dog. Nope, they're still there. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Let's go to the computer. Oh. Uh. This is a good one, man. This is a good one. 
Okay. Here we go. What? Is, what? One ma? Am I stupid? Is that what that says? One ma? One ma? What am I hearing? I'm hearing footsteps, like really close. Oh, it's making my stomach hurt. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, no. 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 Uh-uh. Ah! What is she doing? What is she doing? I hate this with every fiber in my being oh god oh god what the hell am i supposed to do Okay. All right. Um That was that was very eventful. Let's let's get the hell out of here. Not that I want to. She's right behind me. Hello? Are you there? What do you want? Rescue? Where are you? Ah! Oh! Okay, alright, sorry. I just died. I should not have asked that. This game is on another level. On another level, dude. Did we die or did we... No, we're, we're still in the same spot. Okay, I will never do that again. Can you help me? Turn light off when you see me on camera. Okay, I'm just going to keep the lights off. I'm just going to turn all the lights off. Can't turn that light off. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Turn these lights off. Wish I could move a little faster. All right. I'm not going to turn the upstairs lights off just yet.
Okay. We're going to go upstairs. All right, she wants all the lights off. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn all the damn lights off. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay, she went out for a swim. Okay. Keep this light off. That's that I'm trying. Okay. Two what? Two freak? Or RK? What? Two RK? You find email. One MA. She's giving me clues. I can't turn off that light. I don't know how. <sighs> oh, this sucks. I don't get it. Two RK. It says Mark. It does say Mark. Oh, God. Fuck. turn this light off and that light off we're gonna get really dark in here could let me So we got 12 mark. I don't know if that's a username or the password. I don't know. The fuck is that still on for? Hang on. Dude. I 
think she keeps turning lights back on. There it is. There. Gee whiz. Okay. I think we got all the lights off now, except for the one above the piano, which I don't know how to turn that off. There's two switches on the wall here. Not it. There she is. There she goes. Oh my God. I hate this game, bro. I hate it with a passion. Oh. Where'd she go? She's going back. <coughs> She's going back upstairs. I hate that so much. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. We're going to have to... Okay, let's get out of here. Nothing more we can do here. Oh, I guess we got to ask some questions. Can you help me? Look through cameras. Okay. We're going to have to figure out this password, I guess. I don't know. Oh, my God. Login. Uh, Mark. I don't know if it should be capital. Mark 12. I don't know. Yeah. We still don't have the damn passwords. Let's check the cameras one more time. Let's see what's going on. God, look at how creepy that is. Got to be something that we're missing. God love that. God I love that shit. We're going to have to walk around, man. That's all I know to do. There's not enough clues. Can you help me? Look for me. I'll give you hints. See, I told you. I told you. Okay.
Oh god. I can't see. I can't see. I, I didn't see any of that. Oh no. Alright, cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Our friendship will go a long way because of that now. Ah. What? What a game, dude. What a game. Okay. I mean, I don't know what the hell that did, but... Maybe we triggered an event, and now we need to go look at the cameras again? I don't know. Yeah, we've already looked in the kitchen. Whoa. I do not remember that. There, finally my flashlight works. Okay, so there's something we missed. Right here. Well, what the hell? A massive blood trail behind the pot. A clear sign of struggle. Okay. We got the lit matches. We got that. What else are we missing? I don't know. I don't know. I would love to kill the flies. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Uh. Can you help me? Yes. Can you help me? Light will guide you. Okay, that didn't help me. All right, I'm going to check the cameras again. What? Whoa, what? Dude. They triggered something. Maybe it was the light through the wall. I don't know. Yeah, it was the light through the wall. Okay. Maybe now we turn the lights back on. Lights will guide you not home. Okay. Where the hell's the lights? Oh, there it is. Turning all the lights back on. This game has got me on my toes, dude. Shit. So turn only the one on that have blood on them. That's that's a that's a good idea. Okay. So let's turn all these other ones off. All 
I don't remember seeing one in here. Yeah, there's one right there, but there's no blood on it. Chill out. We're going to solve this mystery together. Okay, me and you. Just me and you. I need a little bit more help. Can you turn that? Why? Fuck! Okay, I'm sorry. That doesn't help me any. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Uh, uh. That's why I couldn't turn that off. There we go. All righty. Okay. One more set of lights and we're good. Excellent. I don't, I don't see how beat me up helps me, though. See, now we can't see that message because the light's on. Maybe, hold on. Maybe it's the opposite. Because now, see, we can't see the messages. They're gone. Yeah, reverse. But we already know that. That's the thing. I mean, we, we, we already see the message that she's left. You know what I mean? Like, golly, this game. Now I know why it's two hours long. So it takes a long time to figure out. Nice house, though. I mean, can't complain, right? Very nice house. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. It's a nice room. Look at this room, man. This would be the stream setup. I put my desk right here. Take out this couch and blue screen that wall. Take out this light. <laughs> okay. Now the lights that need to be off are off. Whoa. What? Okay. Now we can see that again. Whoa. Look. Handprint. We figured it out. Okay. We got it, baby. Another handprint. Oh, my God. Stop. The ambience. Okay, I'm not going to turn off another one. Just that one. Yeah, I think we got it now. Holy crap, stop. Okay. We turn off one light at a time. Took us a while to figure it out. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, 2009 and 3. Okay, so there it is. Um, so the password and the code is... Shit, night vision. Uh, let's start with the top. One. Three. Two. Mark 2009. One. Three. One three three two or just one three two? Or is it one two three? Cause you got we got Mark, right? And then two thousand nine goes here. So it's Mark one two. Three. It's one two three. Mark two thousand and nine. Either that or it's reversed. Yeah, it's reversed. Two, three, one. No. Maybe we need more codes. 
Yeah, there's more to the code. There's got to be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's not put in, and it's it should be case sensitive, so maybe like that. It might be case sensitive. I don't know. Okay, we'll just fucking leave that for now. Let's look at the cameras. I think we got to trigger another event. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. Where is she? I hear something. Okay. Let's exit. Let's walk around. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's right there in big, bold letters. Now find password. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Boy, this game is nice. What a nice game. Okay, I heard something break. Okay, so now I look at a normal color. You guys were like, no, you look fine. I was like, no, nah, man. Every time I look at the camera, I look blue. Okay, something's happening. Something broke down here. Oh. 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 Sounds like me. Maybe we use the Ouija board. <laughs> Look, man, that's not helping me. Would you stop beating me up? Okay. Did she beat me all the way into the living room? All right, man. Maybe let's fucking go on the computer again. Ah, I guarantee you, man, it's the dude that uh, hired us. How much you want to bet? Maybe we got to look at that in the kitchen. I'm not sure. Oh, see, now it's just plain as day on there. Now find password. Maybe it's password. Wouldn't be that easy, would it? Yeah, we're going to have to ask her some more questions, I think. Whoa. Something broke. I don't know what the hell broke. All right, we're going to ask her some questions. Can you help me? You can fix that. What? What? Fix what? I heard something break. Uh -huh. Aha. Ah! Okay, um, what, one, what?
the? It says S. Yeah, one S, which means ah! <sighs> which means the the first letter is S. First letter's S. So we got the baby looking in the mirrors? I don't know. I don't get it. All right, so first letter's S. Something broke, too. Something else broke. I hear water. Is it that window, maybe? Yeah. Oh, man, this game. This, dude, this is the best horror game I've played so far this year. This is crazy. Got another light blinking. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Letter five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It's T. All right. Cool. So now we got to, like, turn light. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Nope. Ah! I can't do this. All right. I keep hearing shit break. Okay, let's just keep walking around. Oh my God. I guess. Look behind you. She's supposed to be helping me here. Okay, I won't. I won't. Hello? Okay, we're good. Okay, letter two, it's W. I hear a piano. Okay, she's on the piano. I'm out of breath playing this game. Hello? Okay, whatever you say. Okay. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shazam. Oh, God. Okay, six is D. It's either a D or a P. I don't... I can't tell. I think it's a P. 
All right, chill out. It's definitely a P. Nope. I ain't falling for that again. Kiss my ass. Yeah, ever since we got the dual PC set up, the streams have been insanely smooth. It was a it was a good good idea going back, man. It looks so damn good, don't it? So far we've got SWTP. I don't know what the hell that means. Just waiting for a light to flicker. I don't know how there could be multiple endings to this game, but apparently I think there are. Yep, yep, stop it. Very easy. Swept. I think that's the password. Swept. Okay. Seven is J. Maybe that's it. That's got to be it. We'll try it. There's no two E's, though. not it still missing some got one more I think because there's oh god because there's eight I think oh man what a crazy game yep I mean that's one way of getting up the steps by not using the steps Know what I'm saying? Aha! Ha ha ha! Clickety clack! There it is. Okay, we got it. Oh God! Hello, ma'am. Just going to fra-la-la down the steps. Nope. I got I got the password now. Nope. Stop it. Stop with that shit. <sighs> yeah, this is nightmare fuel. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, shit. We got another one. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I did use all caps. There's still more. Uh, it's a uh, sweet PJK so far. Huh? What the fuck? 
That was it. Must have typed it wrong. Okay, Rachel Main. It's really nice to meet you. Two, Mark, three, three, three. Chloe James. Did you like them? PP. Martha Sosuk. So happy you're also 14. Amanda Clark. What's your address again? So what the hell is this? I'm so looking forward to it. Marky. Whoa. Oh, okay. That, dude, I am so confused. Okay, so this is a conversation between Mark and Rachel. This is a conversation between Mark and Chloe. Uh, Martha and Mark. Mark and Martha. Sophia and Mark. Okay, so let's go through these. Okay, Mark. Hey, Rachel. I'm so happy we met here. It's like a super cool adventure. Rachel. Hi, ha, Mark. I know, right? This app is like magic. Tee hee. I'm bouncing with joy. Mark. You're totally right, Rachel. It's like we found a hidden treasure or something. What's your fave ice cream flavor? Oh, my God. Oh, tough question. I can't pick just one, but I'd say chocolate sprinkles and marshmallows. Yum. Mark. Ha ha. I agree. Ice cream rocks. I'm a cookies and cream fan, but I like trying all flavors. We should have an ice cream party some. <laughs> this is this is really, 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 really weird. Weird. I hate this, dude. This is making my skin crawl. Yes, ice cream party with all the toppings. It's going to be the, the bestest party ever. I just know it. Mark, woohoo. And hey, I just saw your profile that you love animals. Me too. What's your favorite furry friend? All animals are the cutest. I adore puppies. They're like tiny balls of fluff and love. What's yours? Puppies are adorable indeed, but I'm a big fan of kittens too. They're so playful and perfectly cute. Ah, this is making me feel uneasy. Rachel, kittens, that's so cute. We're like two peas in a pod, Mark. Can't believe we're both animal lovers. Mark, today it's like destiny brought us together. I feel like we're characters from a magical storybook. I'm getting, like, literally sick to my stomach. Ha ha, you're making me giggle. We should create our fairy tale together, filled with laughter and friendship. Ah, uh, Mark, yes, our fairy tale adventure. Let's explore the enchanted forest and find joy around every corner. Rachel, I'm on board, Mark. This is going to be the best adventure ever. Super duper excited. Mark, me too, Rachel. Let's hold hands and step into this wonderful story together. Here's my phone number. Let's meet at my place. Now the phone's ringing. Sounds great. Can't wait to meet you in person, Mark. I'm assuming we got to get that or no. Maybe we'll just wait and listen. <sighs> Chloe and James. Hey, Chloe, I just want to say I really like the selfies you sent me. Look up. Thanks, Mark. I'm so glad you liked them. I was a little nervous about sending them, but you made me feel more confident. Mark, are you kidding? You're naturally photogenic. Those selfies are just a glimpse of how awesome you are. You're too sweet. Oh.
Man, I, I feel extremely uneasy right now, dude. Shit, I did it again. I can't think right now. Are you kidding? You're naturally photogenic. Those selfies are just a glimpse of how awesome you are. Chloe, you're too sweet, Mark. I have to admit, it's nice getting compliments from someone as nice as you. Well, it's easy to compliment someone as beautiful as you. Thanks, Mark. Your messages make me smile. So what do you enjoy doing in your free time? Well, besides admiring your selfies. Oh, my fucking God. I enjoy playing basketball with my friends, and I also like trying out new recipes in the kitchen. Wow. You're quite the all-arounder. That's really cool. Maybe you can teach me some basketball moves sometimes. I'd love to. We can have a mini basketball practice session at my place. And I bet you'd be an amazing basketball player. Ha ha, who knows. But I'm definitely up for the challenge with you. I, I, I can, I'm not, man. I, here's my number. Text me when you when you're free to come. Deal. We'll be each other's cheerleaders. Martha. Hey, Marco. Hey, Martha. I remember you. How's it going? I'm doing great, thanks. I can't believe we're both 14. Oh, my fucking God. And that made me really happy. It's not easy finding people our age on here, you know. Totally agree. It's cool to meet someone in the same age group. So what have you been up to lately? Just finished reading a fantastic fantasy series, and I'm so hyped about it. Also, been playing a lot of soccer with my friends. How about you? Nice. I'm into sci-fi books. Just finished one that blew my mind. And guess what? Soccer is my favorite sport, too. We're like, book, it's sport. Oh, my God. This is fucking... I can't read this shit. No way. That is amazing. We're, like, already getting along so well. I really want to meet you in person, you know. You know, what would be even more amazing? If you would come over to my place next Saturday afternoon. We could have a mini sci-fi and fantasy book club, play some video games, and my mom makes the best homemade pizzas. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. A book club, video games, and pizza. Count me in, Mark. I'd love to hang out at your place. That's awesome, Martha. I knew you'd be up for it. It's going to be a blast, I promised. I can't wait. Sounds like the perfect way to spend a Saturday afternoon. See you at your place. And then Sophia. Hi, Mark. How's your day going? Hey, Sophia. My day is going pretty well. Thanks. How about yours? I'm doing great, especially now that we're chatting. I have to admit, Mark, I'm really liking getting to know you. It seems like such a genuine and interesting... You seem like such a genuine and interesting person. Mark, oh, thank you, Sophia. That's really sweet of you to say. I'm enjoying getting to know you, too. You have a great sense of humor and a kind heart. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. But seriously, I can't wait to meet you in person. Talking to you on this app is nice, but I feel like there's so much more to discover face to face. I completely agree. That's always different. It's always different when you meet someone in person. We should definitely plan a meet up soon once we're both comfortable with it. <sighs> yes, definitely. That sounds wonderful. It's been a while since I've been this excited about meeting someone new. You got me eagerly, eagerly looking forward to it. I'm flattered, Sophia. I feel the same way about you. You're intriguing, and I can't wait to learn more about you. There's something I feel I should share with you before we meet. It's a bit personal, but I want you to know me better. My dad works a lot, and he's hardly ever home. Sometimes it gets lonely, and I wish he could spend more time with me. I appreciate you opening up to me, Sophia. It must be tough feeling like you don't get enough time with your dad. Is he in a demanding job or travel, travel a lot? Yeah, he's a high-ranking position in his company, and it requires a lot of traveling and long hours. I know he works hard. <laughs> I know he works hard for our family, but I miss having quality time with him. It's just something that's been on my mind lately. I understand how you feel. It's essential to have that family connection and support. Maybe when we meet, you can share more about your interests and how you've been coping with the situation. <sighs> I'm here to listen and be supportive. Sophia, thank you, Mark. It means a lot to me that you are so understanding and willing to listen. 
I look forward to sharing more about myself with you. I'm excited to learn about your life, too. The feeling is mutual, Sophia. We'll take this one step at a time and see where this journey takes us. And who knows, maybe we'll both find something special in each other. That sounds perfect, Mark. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Until then, let's keep getting, let's keep getting to know each other. Um, this is why you, uh, you know, want to monitor your children on the fucking internet. You know what I mean? This, this makes me fucking sick to my stomach. Okay. So I'm assuming now we got to figure out which one of these people he killed. Oh God, man, that. Some fucking people, man. I can't. There's things I can't say right now. And I'm just not going to say them. Let's check the fucking cameras. For fuck's sake. This is probably the most disturbing game I've ever played. Oh. This is easily the most disturbing game I've ever played. Like, I'm not even having fun anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was him all along. Yep. Yep. God, there's so much I could say right now. <sighs> In the chilling, desolate apartment, the cold body of Detective Wyatt lay lifeless. The seasoned investigator had been ruthlessly silenced, forever stilled by the very man he had been closing in on, Mr. Sakamoto. Wyatt, relentless pursuit of truth, his dogged determination to unravel the grim secret held within these walls had brought him face to face with a darker reality than he could have imagined. The horrifying truth was clear. Mr. Sakamoto, Sophia's father, had been the perpetrator behind his daughter's disappearance and the demise of the other innocent girls. But the revelation had come too late. Wyatt's discovery cut short by a brutal end. When his body was found at the crime scene, the once bustling apartment was now an eerie silence. And Mr. Sakamoto nowhere to be seen. Fucking disgusting. Fucking absolutely fucking disgusting. 